Just throw out a few examples. A four vector. So something like one, three, negative two, six. Again, we're just talking about a four by one. I could also have written this vector as a one, three, negative two, six. It really doesn't matter. Uh, later on, it will make a difference depending on how we want to arrange it because we're going to be multiplying these things by matrices. So sometimes we want it this way, sometimes we want it this way. Another representation is just regular coordinate representation, x comma y comma z comma so on. So I could also write this as 1, 3, negative 2, 6. They all mean the same thing. It just depends on what it is that you're doing. Okay, uh, a 7 vector. Let's do... So again, so you'd have 0, 5, 0, 6, 9, 7, 2, something like that. And again, you can write it as a row. You can write it as a list in coordinate form. This just means that you have this many dimensional space. Two-dimensional space is two numbers. Three-dimensional space is three numbers. This is a seven-dimensional space. Perfectly valid, perfectly real. And the mathematics is handled exactly the same way as it was last time. Okay, let's talk about vector addition. <clears throat> uh, last time we talked about vector addition when we said when you add two vectors together, you're just adding the individual components. Uh, in other words, the individual numbers of those vectors together. So let's just do an example. So let's say... vector addition. Let's call our, let's do a three vector. So we have one, minus two, and three. And let's take v as two, three, and negative three. So when we add them, we're just adding the one and the two, the negative two and the three, the three and the negative three. And so our u plus v equals, again, it's a it's a three vector. One plus two is three. Minus two plus three is minus one. I'm sorry, plus one. And three minus three is zero. So we have the vector three, one, zero. If we do scalar multiplication, when we take a vector and we just multiply by a scalar, a regular number, So if I wanted to do, let's say, let's use u again. If I want to do 5u, well, I just multiply everything in there by 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times negative 2, negative 10. 5 times 3 is 15. So 5u equals, and it's, again, it's a 3 vector. Nothing changes. We have 5, negative 10, and 15. So vector addition, scalar multiplication, just like when we did it for vectors in the plane. You just have more numbers.